All right, uh, interest rates are rising, but this time, you know, the traders weren't freaking, all right? They, 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 they held their own. Stocks ended up on the day, even though interest rates actually backed up a tad more. The 10-year note now uh, resting comfortably over that 3% level, and a lot of people said that would be the level at which people would say, that's it. Doesn't look good for stocks. I'm going to put my money in the safety of a Treasury note or bond because at least Uncle Sam will back me up. Can't say the same about uh, Corner Wall and Broad. Let's get the read from Retail Watcher, Heath Herzog, and Market Watchers, Dan Geltrude and Melissa Armo. Melissa, the, the view was, is, that a backup in interest rates is bad for stocks. And I, I'm looking at this, being the old fogey here, remembering a 10% handle uh, on a 10-year note around 1987. And, and this is less than a third of that. Well, you're right about that. Oh. Overall, in the bigger picture, it's really not a crisis. This isn't a reason to panic. However, the fact is the market's been rallying for quite a while, and now we've seen some selling in the last few months. We've seen more selling than buying. The market isn't going to go higher. Stocks aren't going to go higher well, unless someone wants today? to buy. They, they, they we, it's it like off. a tiny little bit from the low. So we right. had big selling in the morning, big selling yesterday. We only rattled a little. And all of these things that have been having earnings, like Facebook's out tonight, it's up. But it's not up a lot. It's not up enough. Visa's up tonight on earnings, too. Not up enough. We had good earnings in the bank. So Guess what are you what? doing? Are you just off. out or what are you doing? Well, I think we don't see brand new highs in the market until maybe the fall, towards the end of the year. I think really? we're going to, yeah. I don't, Dan, I'm are you that grim? No, I'm not. I'm actually optimistic. I think the market still has plenty of room. I think that the, uh, the interest on the 10-year treasuries being over three, I don't think it's that big of a deal. However. Why don't you think it's a big deal? Well, because I just don't think unless it's going to be a trend that you're going to have that much of an impact on interest rates. Because really, I'm more concerned about how is this going to affect borrowing, both on an individual basis and a corporate basis. I just don't see it, Neil. He thought you could make the argument here that um – the backup in rates is largely because of an improving economy, too, right? Right, absolutely. And I think that's what's been carrying this rally for a while. People have been feeling better about the economy. Um, and we've seen these rates go a hit, you know, past 3% for, you know, many times. And they've retreated back a little. So, to your point, it is a little bit weird that everyone is... Well, what do you think right it's going to do for, for shoppers? And, and are they going to tighten right. up? Well, yeah. Well, I think if we see a continuing trend upwards, I think people will get a little bit uh, concerned with the inflation rate going up. And, you know, it, maybe in the fourth quarter, we'll see people start to retreat when it comes to shopping and consumer spending. But if you look at the same store sales and if you look at retail earnings, they've been positive. So the consumer is feeling good out there. I don't think any sort of upward trend of a interest rate at this point is going to have that much of an impact on. Yeah, spending. see, I tend to look at this as good news. Sometimes as good news. I know we look at good news as being bad news leads to the Federal Reserve tightening and all of that, but market rallies have, have always been sustained, even in the midst of rising rates. Could they not be? Well, they're not necessarily one goes with the other. So, again, yes, a strong economy, that's why they're raising rates, because the economy's strong. That's good. That, in the long term, that's what I'm saying. Long term, it's great. Long term, the tax plan's great. Long term, all these things are great. But right now, People have a lot of credit card debt, and we are going to see an increase in rates maybe two, three more times this year. And in the unsecured debt, that means people's payments are going to go up. But now they just had that tax savings. They just had it. Now their payments are going to go up, and that's going to affect. People usually have about 15000 I think, is the average of unsecured Actually, credit, credit card, card debt, debt for is people. kind of coming down right now. People are paying that down. However, I mean, if those I rates do go that. up. I didn't, I didn't read that, but I don't know if, where the sources are. But either way, I'm saying. Ethan's facts are, facts are go impeccable. Up. <laughs> impeccable. So I would, what do you think of this? I love the, the fear that, that you know. Because short-term rates, you know, you could argue with this flattening yield curve in two years, and then I don't want to bore people. I saved that for, well, my show. <laughs> that, that it portends something is going to slow down, down the road. Well, I think what you could see happen here is with the housing market, depending on now how the treasuries are going to impact mortgage rates. Now, mortgage rates trail behind the treasuries, but they will start to inch up. That's why I said before, if this is the beginning of a trend related to a rising interest rate, on the treasuries, now we could see those borrowing rates go up. And now what happens with people's monthly mortgage payments when they're looking at, I could only afford so much, housing prices are going to have to come down. But isn't down. that a wash with the tax cuts or no? Well, I don't think it'll be a you wash it, to okay. that extent, Neil. There will be some benefit, but that's not going to be a dollar-for-dollar dollar offset. What do you think? Yeah, we're talking about a, a, a domino effect. And again, if those mortgage rates go up, people are going to have to start shifting their uh, income around. What? How are they going to pay for certain things? Like if you know their their credit card 
interest rate going up? Um, you know, where are they going to, you know, put money aside for you know, potential tuition for school, et cetera? Well, we're, so, we're complaining about stuff that should be good. But I mean, this is the Fed's job, really. They're, it's their job to find the sweet spot where there's enough stimulus. Well, they're doing just growth. fine, aren't they? Right, they are. But again, because well, we have such a you're negative. You're I, like. <laughs> I'm not mis negative, but my outlook for the for the year for 2018 has changed because we had so much. Just selling. on the basis of this uptick. No, 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 no. Just since February, because we've seen so much selling and so much selling off but the highs. I, I just don't see it that way, Neil. I have to beg to differ with Melissa. I'm an optimist about what's going to happen. I see room in the market. I think we're going to see continued growth. Let's not panic. This is no big I'm deal. I'm looking at it from a panic. consumer spending standpoint, and I feel saying, really good about the economy. I think wow. we're going to be okay. Okay. Then. I think we're going to be okay too. I'm very positive. I'm just saying right now, I'm talking about the next three to four months of summer, summer 2018. I don't think the market makes new highs. We might, we could. Here, let's see what happens. I don't even know what I'm going to have for breakfast tomorrow. What are you thinking about <laughs> All right, guys, thank you all very, very much. I told you they were geniuses. All right, uh, you know, Jeff Sessions was up on Capitol Hill and he was asked a bunch of questions like, uh, why didn't you recruit yourself in the Cohen case? And uh, about sticking around in the White House if Rod Rosenstein is fired, what do you think he said? We have the answers after this.